dialogues, we we work and, and have always put a lot of focus on bringing together um, a diverse group of people when we talk about these um, these big topic or excuse me these hot button topics and specifically bringing um, the device the diverse perspectives together to discuss strategy over them. Um, we want to promote collaboration and partnerships and such. Um, as VP of strategy, and that being a big part of your job, how important is open dialogue to your company? And uh, a follow-up to that, in, excuse me, in your opinion, what role do you think it will have in shaping the future of the energy industry? Yeah, open dialogue and, and even just simply uh, diversity of ideas and backgrounds. Uh, I'd say uh, emissions specifically, energy transition specifically, it's almost more important to those topics. Uh, we've seen a dangerous thing where a number of uh, individuals and organizations that approach those problems um, have kind of embedded sacred cows in their mindset on how they approach them. And in a very interconnected um, supply chain as energy is, um, you almost result in these negative feedback loops if you constantly approach things um, with a mindset that one thing is right and one thing is wrong and you keep that view um, throughout your attempt to solve that problem. Uh, a, a great example that we see is uh, over the past decade, a lot of large energy companies were pushed to divest high emitting assets and the, the purchasers of those assets were by their very nature entities that cared less about that emissions profile. And we have the case studies now where the emissions from those assets has increased. Um, so the the kind of, you know, this, this dogmatic push in the certain portions of what's right and what's wrong in the energy supply chain creates a lot of inefficiencies, which is, which is pretty much what we aim to solve at Validair, where use this data, take a very data specific approach um, and based on that data, what decisions should you actually make? And, and you see this in kind of the, the profile of our team where a lot of the team um, are from physics backgrounds, some of them are from other industries, and they take a very data-driven um, mindset, which is actually very good at solving this problem where a bunch of, it, one, the problem's changing very quickly, so you can't get anchored to a historical mindset on, on what works or what doesn't. Um, but two, just an independent view that's very data driven as opposed to emotional um, or with kind of sacred cows that are untouchable. Um, we found that to be really successful in kind of actually thinking and executing solutions um, in this supply chain. And, and you even uh, I, I'd say that some of the people that have contributed most to kind of the energy low emissions dialogue, you, you think of um, Bill Gates and, and their team, they took an exact same approach where they just were were outsiders, looked at the data, and and they came up with a solution that okay, let's let's drive down the emissions of the energy supply chain where we can, but removing it probably creates removing it today probably creates more friction. Um, and you look at them um, arriving at solutions such as nuclear, which are just non-starters in some groups, which which doesn't make a lot of sense. You really need kind of independent thinking around this, and that's certainly how we've aimed to uh, to build our team to solve this problem. Thank you so much, Mark. We look forward to the continued collaboration and we'll see Valadir and everyone else at the North American Gas Forum this November.